broadcast live. I'm sitting here at uh, Universal Music Headquarters and they just added a brand new artist to their roster, El Tudor. I never saw it coming. I don't think a lot of you guys saw it coming. You said it took you five months to clinch this deal. Let's start at the beginning. When did the conversation start? Um, I think it started when I tweeted him a bunch of drop uh, album. In fact, remember you guys were like waiting, like, where's the album, where's the album, and whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So they hollered at me and like, yo, man, would like to be involved in what's going on and everything. And you know, my mentality with labels has always been, nah, nah, I ain't signing to no labels, you know. And uh, we just had to sit down and say, okay, let's let's talk, let, let's talk then. Um, okay, they told me what they had to offer, and I was like, okay, okay. Um, and then I, we had to sit down at the table and obviously tell them because I didn't come as a new artist in the game, you know what I'm saying? So I had to put all my terms on the table. So that's why I keep on telling people, this is not your typical deal from a record label and a thing, and an artist. This is like, there's no deal like this. I had to basically amend so many things that was in the contract, basically, so that I'm happy. Yeah. So I have a question. Your 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 album had to drop in February. Had to. Had you been working on it the year before, like from last year? And the delays in your samples does that have anything to do with the negotiation of the album uh, with 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 Universal? No. Nah, well, I had like sample issues already for certain songs. So certain songs that are amazing that I have samples might have to get left out the album. Um, cause there's certain samples you can't clear, you know, um, but yeah, like certain, I've been, rec I'm always recording. So whether it's like, I've recorded new songs two weeks ago, three weeks ago. So I could have dropped the album. Like I have, a, I could have dropped three albums. I could have dropped a triple album. That's how much music I have. Um, so it's just a choice now of just like saying, I'm going to drop this album and Maybe after three months, four months, I might just give a streets a mixtape because just I have like way, way, way too many songs. Yeah, way too many songs. The recording process, like you're saying, you've got three albums worth of music. Um, the beat specifically producers. I'm very interested with the kind of producers you work with because you mentioned that your upcoming single has got a lot of the old old Tito, but also it's got a new age vibe to it. How do you come up to that kind of sound, especially when you're trying to balance between people that came up with you from a long time ago to now? Um, when it comes to, like, for me, music has to call me. Like, if I listen to, like, a beat, like, if the first 10 seconds, if I'm not doing this, yeah. nah, it's not for me, you know? Like, it it's doesn't have to do with a specific sound. If I can, like, like look at my last singles before this one, Moto, the beat's not the same as... As as thank you so much. <laughs> it's not the same as Tico, the beat. Even before Tico, there was like, um, oh no, the beat is not the same. There was Salaka and the beat is not. So it's not. I don't look for a specific type of sound when it comes to music. As long as the music connects with me, that's 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 good enough. You know, certain sounds I look, certain sounds I actually look to say, yo, I want to make this type of sound before the sound is there, like Moto. I wanted to have that type of beat, you know, to say, yo, let's do something different where you speak to the producer and say, yo, produce this type of sound for me. But um, usually I think music connects, man. It's about what connects to the ear, you know. Um, with this new album, it's like even the, the, the beats that I have on the album. It's not like the beats that everybody's using on the thing. I try to be like, I can't, I don't want to give everybody, I can't offer the same thing everybody's offering. What's the point of me even dropping an album? Because everybody else, they're going to hear it from Nasty C's album or hear it from AKA's album, whoever's album, you know. So the album is like, I feel the sound and sonically is different from everything that's out. Um, that's why I, I, I try to stay away from certain sounds. Like, I don't want too much of a trap sound. I literally have one song that's like trap in my album, but the rest is like just different beats. Yeah. Um, coming to the album, I actually just thought in my head, a lot of times uh, record labels want your album to sound a certain way or go a certain direction. You came in with a full album. Is Universal getting involved in anything regarding the music on the album? 
you see that's why i even said like i have like a deal like only structured for me they're not involved with my album they're not telling me who they i must be on the album who must be like even a single like for a record label you know they would have said no choose your club bang as your first single no like i i i have a deal that i i dictate the terms in terms of like how my music is put out how it's coming out what are the singles and everything else so like I, I keep on saying, this ain't a deal that everybody else is used to. This is this is like, a, yeah. <laughs> is it that simple though, Tito? Because I've, I've, we, a lot of us have experienced that oftentimes when an artist is pushing for what they really want, and the the, the label is like, no, you know, they butter it smoothly. And with this with this negotiation, I can't imagine it could have been easy. But I mean, what do you think was the tipping point for them to say, okay, we'll we'll go with with what you got? Because again, you're saying you're bringing experience. But I mean, is it that easy for somebody out there to be like, this is what I want, and the label is like, no, but this is what we want? Um, it's obviously not easy. Um, it took us five months. <laughs> to do this deal so it's not easy um but the label had to learn to, to to trust where i'm coming from like you know um it's not like I, I don't think people get it when i say i've been independent from the jump where it's just like me and like another guy it took a lot for me to do that so i understand my brand more than anybody else does you know and um, they had to trust certain things and my thoughts for them to make this deal happen otherwise I would have walked off and kept kept on doing my independent thing. They could have carried on as Universal, you know. So um, that to be a situation where we both like, okay, um, this makes sense. This doesn't make sense or whatever. We had to come to. It, it went back and forth. I mean, there was times where I'm like, nah, this, nah, I'm not doing it. Let me just carry on doing what I've been doing forever. But they had to be like, okay, we really want you on this situation, so let's make this deal favorable for you, basically. Yeah. Well, you dope. I think you opened up a little bit of a gate for people, uh, for more artists to be able to assert themselves in terms of what they really want with their brand. And I'm so happy and glad uh, that you were able to fight for your brand the way you did. Um, coming to your music, uh, your music agency or record label that you opened with, with the guys last year, I mean, what's going on with that? Um, basically, that, that, that is going to be in full effect after I drop my album. After I drop my album, um, Universal will distribute all the young talents that's under me. So um, I'm looking forward to that, man. Like it's been like they've been recording so much music, and but like my situation took so long. I thought by now I'd have dropped the music. So um, straight after my album, and 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 the artists that's under my label, they also featured on my album. So I, I feel it's like going to be a good platform for them, um, for people to hear them out and the talents. And then after that. We're gonna go straight into their music. They're dropping singles. They're always working. Like sometimes when fans don't hear music, they think we're just chilling with some girls or whatever, and like we're not actually recording. We are always working. Well, I'll speak for myself. I'm always working. Um, if you don't hear the music, it's because of like whatever. You know what I'm saying? But I'm always working, and um, yeah, I just had to make sure like this situation is just perfect for everybody. I remember telling you guys. Yeah, you guys hit me up, like, and I didn't drop in Feb. Like I said, I was like, "What's going on with you out here?" But uh, unfortunately, then I thought, okay, maybe this deal will take a shorter space. And then I was just like stubborn about certain things that I'm not willing to compromise within the deal. You know, I that I was willing to walk off if if I didn't get what I wanted with that situation. So, yeah, yeah. One one more question: um, the album, without giving out the name. Um, what places do you go? Because I won't lie, I, I think ma ma majority of us know your music as club music. A lot of your songs, your hits rather, not your songs. Your hits are always the songs that the DJs have to play in the club. What what flip you know are you doing on this album and how deep do you go since you're somebody who's very personal and you're saying that now you want to tell your story. I mean, are there things that you, you had to like, you know, I, I can't put that on record or how far did you go with the album? You know, it's also unfortunate, you know, people will be like, yeah, your songs are club, but, but in a club, what songs are you going to hear? A deep song in a club? No, you're going to hear a club song, you know, and it's just like with anywhere else in radio, they want songs that are like very radio friendly and everything else. So I, I took the decision to say for this first single, I want to tell my story, whether it's in the club or not, I don't care. I just want to tell my story on this song and um, 
the club songs will come later or whatever but the album that i i'm dropping now it's not just music for the club this is music to to to, to vibe out to um this is music where you're going to hear stories where i speak my mind on certain topics you know um that make certain people uncomfortable too so um there's a lot of people that might gonna have opinions and say whatever or certain things well as long as i do something with the integrity of me um that i i felt like it gave me permitted me to, to speak i feel sometimes also um with local hip-hop we don't speak our minds i don't know in terms of like opinions that we have about certain things because like certain things are sensitive or whatever and i felt on this album i also had to show as an og that's been in the game for 10 years i had to stand and say a couple of things that i felt were important basically so when the album comes out you actually get to see what i was talking about i like what you just mentioned about um hip-hop you know not opening up a lot um I want to get your opinion on this. You may you may have seen it or you may not have seen it, but do you have you noticed or are you becoming aware of uh, what looks like a, a slow decline in SA hip hop in terms of, um, let's say 2015, 2014, uh, and and Ko brought this up as well in one of our interviews where you'd see a lot of hip hop acts take over every single lineup every single weekend, and that's not the case anymore. And also with, with the hip hop DJs, they're not being booked as much. And also with, 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 with the game, you know, there's, there's certain people that you can pinpoint, like people that have been doing it for 10 years that are still relevant to you, aka the lizards and so forth. I mean, how do you feel about the, 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 the incline of hip hop and the slow? What do you think is happening in SA hip hop right now? You know what, like, I, it's like, I didn't want to speak about the album, but it's, it's like, I think maybe it's important. Like, there's a song on the album, you know, I'm giving you like a big exclusive. It's my intro, the first song in the album. And the song is called Letter to the Game. I speak about everything you just mentioned now. Where I said I felt like I needed to speak about certain things, whether it's uncomfortable, whether certain people feel a certain way about it. I, I felt it had to be said because I, I, I felt as it like something that we all are discussing. You see why I said, like with this album, I had to take my thoughts into the music. I've been thinking so, like, all the things you're mentioning, I've been thinking the same thing and I felt like I had to express it with this album. So, first song on the album, it's called Letter to the Game and I give an opinion about everything you just mentioned. And um, yeah, so I, I, I guess I don't want to speak about my thoughts then because all my thoughts are on that song, exactly, yeah. Hopefully what I'm about to ask is not on the song, but I mean, what do you think we can do? I mean, if you're saying that you've been thinking it and you're not the only one, I don't think you're the only one. Firstly, a lot of people are not bringing it up, but I mean, while we still notice that this is happening, what do you think sh we should do? The biggest problem what happened with hip hop is obviously, the, for me, it's the egos. The ego is like we, we, we achieved 2015, we blew up and everybody just thought they stars, you know? Um, from the rappers to the DJs, you know, like I, I, I've never seen a situation where, in which countries do you know DJs are making music? Like in America, you can literally say DJ Khaled, uh, DJ Drama, um, it's, you can count them in one hand. And I say every DJ is making music, you know, because like a lot of guys want to be the superstars, you know, and sometimes some of the DJs forgot what the role of a DJ is you know, to break records, to make the hits, you know. Um, but I felt everybody feels pressure to be like, no, I want to be a superstar. And not every DJ can make music. It's, it's okay if he's just playing in the club. You don't have to put out music, you know what I'm saying? And the rappers, the egos, like a rapper, once you got a hit, you feel you're the man and you don't have to treat this one like, like give them respect or whatever. Maybe the, the, the problem is also the OGs not embracing the young guys, you know, when they come in the game, the young guys not respecting the OGs. It's like there's so many problems within hip hop. And I think the major thing is they all ego driven, you know? And um, yeah, man, like uh, that song, like the intro of my album explains everything in, in its entirety, yeah. Well, I can't wait to, to listen to the album. I feel like more conversations should be had after listening to the album. But I'm really yeah. proud of you. Um, man, like 10 years is a long Yo, ass time. Like, like, like once you hear the album, trust me, we're going to have like a lot of conversation. Like there's so many songs on the album where it's like, 
I didn't just make songs where I'm, oh, let me rap, let me drop a dope punchline or whatever. No, I am actually saying real stories. Like, after the album, I'm going to talk and then I'm like, oh, wow, Tito, tell me about this. I'm looking forward to that. So I'll actually give you like a week to bump the album and then me and you are going to sit down and just chop it up about everything. Yeah. yeah. Thank you so much. So El Tito is officially part of the Universal Music Group South Africa uh, family. Good luck. Um, you know, I just hope this goes smoothly. I hope it goes the way it should. And given what you've explained, it should. Universal, <laughs> look after our boy. <laughs> Broadcast live.